सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो एज डिस्कस्ड इन द अलियर वीडियो वी वेर टॉकिंग अबाउट रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो इन द कंडीशन वेर रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो इज इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज देर वी मैंशन दैट देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस इट इन डिटेल सो द टाइप्स ऑफ रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो आर टोटल रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो मिनिमम रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो एंड ऑप्टिमम रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो सो द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो इज टोटल रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो Total reflex ratio is a condition where feed is just once fed it in the distillation column, and we will not take out any distillate or any residue out of it. Means no feed is been given, no distillate is been taken out, or no residue is been collected. The feed remains itself in the system and rotates with total reflex. Means no distillate is been taken out. Here in this case of total reflex ratio means when total reflex ratio is applied the number of trays required is minimum means at minimum number of trays we can achieve good separation and because of which the fixed cost decreases but the duty of utility increases means the duty of condenser and reboiler increases means more and more steam is to be supplied for achieving the separation more and more chilling and cooling medium is been supplied for achieving the separation and because of which operating cost increases means in the case of total reflex ratio we will have very less fixed capital cost but the operation cost increases for achieving the separation total reflex ratio is used in the startup of plant to achieve the desired purity or to achieve equilibrium condition in the column with the help of total reflex ratio we will achieve maximum purity but the operation cost increases so much so we will not use total reflex ratio now talking about the second type that is minimum reflex ratio in the case of minimum reflex ratio the total number of trays required is maximum because very less amount of liquid is been made to reflux so large number of trays will be required infinite number of trays will be required and because of which the fixed cost increases and in comparison with that the operating cost decreases means the utility from for the condenser and the reboiler decreases in the case of minimum reflux ratio the overall efficiency will be decreased now talking about third that is optimum reflux ratio as we have seen from the above two types that none of them is suitable for operation because in the case of total reflux ratio we get a desired purity but at the cost of increasing in the operation cost while in the case of minimum reflux ratio it is at the cost of fixed capital cost so we need to have a optimum reflux ratio which balances both of them that is the fixed cost and the operation cost which means we should have optimum number of trays and optimum utility consumption optimum reflux ratio is normally 1.2 to 1.5 times minimum reflux ratio so from these three types we summarize that that we cannot totally use total reflux ratio nor we can use minimum reflux ratio for a smooth operation and a better operation of distillation column we should have a good optimum reflux ratio which will help us in achieving our desired purity with great efficiency so that's all for this video thank you for watching